I would now ask that you remove your hats and join in singing the national anthem. Je vous demanderai de maintenant d'enlever vos chapeaux et vos casquettes et de nous rejoindre pour les nationales. Break your camera when you get over here. <laughs> Soit-il la bienvenue à toutes et tous et surtout nos visiteurs qui sont venus certains de très loin et parmi nous aujourd'hui pour cet événement historique. Ce dévoilement du monument de Chepaudi rend hommage aux nombreuses familles acadiennes qui ont occupé ces lieux en 1700 et 1755. I wish to welcome you all, especially the visitors, some of whom have traveled from very far away to be with us today to attend this historical event. This unveiling is in honor of the Acadian families who lived here from 1700 to 1755. I will now call upon the mayor of Riverside Albert to express his welcome in the name of his community. Je demanderai maintenant au maire de Riverside Albert de vous souhaiter la bienvenue au nom de sa communauté. Monsieur Jim Campbell. Thank you, Annette Marti. Uh, uh, before I start, I'd like to just tell you why we got great weather today. An old Acadian told me one time, put the rosary on the clothesline two days before, you're golden. It works, it really works. I'd like to welcome some special people. Minister Jolie, thank you very much for taking time out of your, your life. I know you're busy, but we appreciate your presence. MP Lockhart. Once again, she's in the village and we're looking for a home for her because she's here a lot. <laughs> and I look forward to working with Elena in 2020 and beyond. Minister Holland, my friend, thank you for coming. I know you didn't get the power back on, but we did. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Melanson, thank you again for coming to Riverside Albert. Frank McKenna, always welcome here. He has family roots in the village. Mayors and council members from other communities that are here this morning, thank you. Uh, Robert Govang, tourism minister, I believe he's here somewhere and I'm not sure where, but. Yeah, right here in the back. There, there you are. <laughs> thank you for joining us. So, uh, Reverend Steve, always a pleasure to have uh, Pastor Paul with us and Pierre Bourgeois, Father Bourgeois, thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, madams and messieurs, uh, Bevenu Riverside Albert, welcome. This is a great day for our, our village as we celebrate the history of the region. I would like to especially welcome friends from other provinces and a special welcome to those who come from far away. Bevenu Atula Acadians. Uh, when Wilford called uh, to ask if it would be possible to erect this monument uh, about three years ago now, it seems like uh, it's been a while, um, to remember the Acadians who, who were settled here, I, this is the right place in this little park. We set this park aside for the residents and visitors to remember 
the people who came before us, the Irish, uh, our war veterans who uh, made it possible for us to live in a safe, democratic country. And why not a monument to remember the Acadian settlers that lived and worked here? We still see the signs of their accomplishment on the lands surrounding our villages, the dikes, the abatos, they're still here. I'd like to thank Wilfred Savoy and his team for the work they've done. I know Wilfred's put countless hours in um, to bring this monument to fruition, and uh, he's probably going to need therapy when we're done today. <laughs> because, uh, I don't know what he's going to do next. <laughs> group uh, on our side, uh, Nick Butlin, Don McLean, Michelle Larson, Mike Cafardi, and Kathy Weir. Without their help, we couldn't have done this. I'd like, like to acknowledge the work done by the teachers of the Riverside Consolidated and Member Cook Schools who made our student exchange program a great success. And a special thanks to my wife, Audrey, who listened to me vent. And <laughs> You're a good girl. <laughs> Forty-one wonderful years. I'd like to thank our council members, Arnold Morrissey, Peter Murphy, Kelly Wright, and especially our village clerk, Debbie Butlin. Without their support, um, they've been behind us. They're very forward thinking and, and it shows today. I'm a proud of our com community that has supported me along the way, and I'd like to give them a round of applause for supporting this project. Please. <laughs> I've been told this project could be an example for the rest of the province and perhaps beyond. That people of different backgrounds can work together to accomplish things that at the beginning would appear to be almost impossible. I'm proud of what has been done here and I thank you for your presence today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all. Please don't be strangers, you're always welcome. so much, Mayor Campbell. Je demanderai maintenant à M. Wilfred Savoie, le président du groupe de travail du Monument de Chipédi, pour répondre à la question, pourquoi un monument aux Acadiens à Chipédi? I would now ask the president of the working group for the Chipédi Monument to answer the question, why a monument of the Acadians in Chipédi? Wilfred Savoie? First of all, I cut uh, everybody to about three minutes, so I could save some minutes for my own. <laughs> Mayor Campbell, Madame Grady, Membre du Clergé, uh, Arthur, on connaît depuis longtemps, and Reverend Paul Steves, Madame Marker, members of the Legislative Assembly, Roger Manonson and Mike Pollan, chers amis, dear friends. Je m'appelle Wilfred Savoie, descendant direct de la famille savoie Thibodeau de Chipoli. Pourquoi un monument à Chipoli? Pourquoi quatre ans de travail pour avoir ce qu'on a aujourd'hui? Parce que nous avions 23 familles qui demeuraient à Chipoli et nous sommes, en, en d'autres mots, nous sommes d'ici. Si quelqu'un nous demande de où on vient, on vient de Chipoli. Parce que nous avons vécu de 1750 à 1755. Donc, c'est une partie de chez nous. Ce monument nous fournit un endroit pour revenir chez nous. Il n'y avait pas de signe avant. Ça, ça nous prenait quelque chose. Donc, ça nous prenait un monument. Dans ce magnifique beau pays. Et encore, nous voulons que toute la, la, la diaspora américaine, euh, acadienne se rappellent et font comme nous qui viennent voir notre monument dans cette communauté. Why a monument for the Acadians here? First, because the 23 families that used to live here, that has been the home for 55 years, and we wanted where we can, to some extent, come back home. We also wanted people to know that this place that they can come to this place and visit us. I want to take this time to allot it to me to thank a lot of people. I know a lot of people are thanking me for this, but you don't do this alone. So first of all, I'd like to thank these people 
that I have here listed. Frank McKenna, who has given this project the legitimacy it needed to get started. Roger Melanson, because he was Minister of the Crown of, of uh, the Province of New Brunswick, opened the door for us to see the people that we wanted to see in the provincial government so that they may help us and we did a fantastic job of that. I want to thank you for the attached to their church, their religion. It had to have a presence here. And to the Reverend Paul Steele. À mon frère Paul, et sans son soutien, je ne serais pas, j'aurais été découragé plusieurs fois. Et à chaque fois que j'avais un petit problème, Paul qui travaille à plein temps, Rohr, euh, il me recevait à chaque fois, puis on dirait que ça me donne un petit beau. C'était merci beaucoup, Paul. <rires> mon épouse, mon épouse qui m'a supporté pendant tout ce projet qui a duré à peu près cinq ans. Two, uh, I'm still having some problems pronouncing this. I think it's called Ilbert, Ilbert, and Rosie. The whole thing started at the Dieppe market that I met Rosie and had coffee with her, and she told me that she she had a restaurant right where the Savoy, the Savoy used to live, which resulted in a meeting with her husband, and he was so gracious that he He's the one that really planted this project into the minds of Paul and I. And I'd like, they're here today, and I'd like, and I'd like to everybody to, uh, to recognize them. They're right sitting right there. Surtout aux membres du groupe de travail, parce qu'il y a eu du travail important à faire, sans ce support-là, sans la La, la, la dédication de ces gens-là, ça n'a jamais pu réussir. Donc, je vais, je vais les voter, puis j'aimerais vous donner une bonne main d'applaudissement une fois que j'ai complété la liste. Ernest Thibodeau, Fernand Thibodeau, Paul Savoie, Nicole Marquis, Roger Martin, Hélène Dupuis, Dolores Bro, Anne-Marie Leblanc, Ronald Martin. Je lui je leur demandais de lever la main pour qu'on puisse les reconnaître. Ils vont comme vous aussi. And finally, I would like to say a few words about the mayor of Jim, Jim Campbell. <laughs> I'm very sincere in saying that without his open-mindedness and dedication to this project, it would have never gone off the ground. From the very first call, in From the very first phone call, and there's a long story behind it that we'd like to, to, to talk about. And for the last three years, we have gone through hard times and good times. But, and this is very important to me, he always believed in me. And I could never thank him enough for that. contribué de, de bien faire connaître ce petit coin de morceau de l'histoire demeurera dans mon esprit comme un élément des plus mémorables de ma vie. Having contributed to this, the erection of this monument will remain one of the most honorable things, memorable things I have done in my life. Thank you all for coming. <coughs> Merci d'être venu ici en grand, aussi grand nombre pour témoigner votre support. Ça veut dire que vous êtes intéressé au projet. Et c'est tout ce qui compte pour moi. Merci. Nous allons maintenant procéder à l'événement tant attendu, le dévoilement du monument. We will now proceed to the long-awaited event, the official unveiling of the monument. Nous aurions souhaité la présence du Premier ministre Justin Trudeau, qui est descendant de la famille Savoie de Chipoudi, mais nous n'avons pas réussi à l'avoir dû à un conflit d'horaire. 
We were hoping for the presence of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who is a descendant of the Savoy family of Shepardy, uh, but due to, a, to the scheduled conflict, we were unable to get that. Je demanderai donc aux deux personnes qui ont piloté ce projet de bien procéder au dévoilement. I would ask the two people who have piloted this project to come forward for the unveiling. Mayor Jim Campbell and Wilfred Savoie, and descendant direct de la famille Savoie et Thibodeau. We have, the, we have an honored guest with us today, and I would ask our MP, Elena Lockhart, Member of Parliament, Fundé Royal, to introduce her. Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour. Good morning, and uh, merci, Andy. It's nice to see you again quite soon. We saw her earlier this week. It's great. And it really is wonderful to see so many people in attendance today, including my friend and colleague, Minister Melanie Jolie, Mayor Campbell, Minister Mike Holland, MLA M Roger Melanson, Frank McKenna, friends, family, and Acadians. We are so pleased to have you here in Riverside, Albert. C'est un grand plaisir d'être parmi vous ce matin lors du dévoilement officiel du Monument Chippody. Aujourd'hui, c'est certainement un moment historique dans notre région de Fundy Royal. Today, we're gathering in a small, rural, Fundy Royal community to celebrate Acadians' place in history and the work of our good friends. By working together, they have brought us together here today to celebrate the accomplishments of the working group and really have made this project come to life. Pour moi, ce dévoilement signifie beaucoup plus d'un monument. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes témoins d'un projet qui démontre l'importance de rapprochement entre nos communautés linguistiques ici au Nouveau-Brunswick. During the ceremony of the Acadians of Albert County exhibit at the Albert County Museum a few months ago, Wilford described his first phone call about installing the monument to commemorate the Acadians here in Riverside, Albert. C'est cette histoire qui m'a démontré l'importance de le projet. Comme nous savons, les Acadiens ont une histoire incroyablement important dans notre identité et notre patrimoine canadien. Au fils du siècle, les Acadiens ont survécu à une déportation et ont subi l'exil. Mais aujourd'hui, on reconnaît votre résilience pour pouvoir travailler ensemble, contre vent et marée, pour défendre votre culture et promouvoir votre langue and votre tra tradition pour le bien-être de nos communautés. The history of the Acadians is one that is not often associated with Elbert County, which is another reason why today is so important. I'm certain that the commemoration of the 425 Acadians that once called this area home will preserve their history in a way that will encourage others to learn about our region's past and to foster partnerships that teach us the importance of working together to find paths forward. In New Brunswick, our linguistic duality strengthens our community and provides us with an opportunity to grow together. Today's commemoration and the work involved is an incredible step in bridging our communities. I commend the work of the Monument Chippity team for their dedication to see this project through. And rest assured, the community appreciates your efforts, and I truly look forward to future conversations about bridging our Anglophone and Francophone communities right here at home. 
J'aimerais fe féliciter le travail du groupe responsable Le Monument Shepherdy pour avoir contribué votre temps et votre énergie de, dans ce projet. Soyez sûr que vous serons, ne serons jamais oubliés. And now I have the privilege of introducing a special guest who is no stranger to Fundy Royal. En tant que secrétaire parlementaire au ministre du Tourisme, des Langues Officielles et de la Francophonie, j'ai eu l'occasion au cours de dernière année de travailler ensemble avec la ministre Jolie. Au cours des derniers mois, elle a profité de trois visites à notre circonscription de Fundy Royal et elle est, comprend bien l'importance du tourisme ainsi que nos langues officielles dans nos, notre communauté rurale. Over the past year, Minister Jolie has visited our riding on three, this would be the fourth occasion, and she's no stranger to our natural and cultural beauty in this region. Je suis ravie qu'elle pourrait se rendre au Nouveau-Brunswick à l'occasion de fête nationale de l'Acadie, ainsi que pour cet événement important. On that note, I'm pleased to welcome my friend and colleague, the Honorable Melanie Jolie, to bring greetings on behalf of the Government of Canada. Merci. Bonjour tout le monde, est-ce que ça va bien? Oui! Ça me fait plaisir de vous voir. It's really a pleasure to be here. As Elena was saying, it's my fourth time here in the fantastic region of Fundy Royal. And uh, Jim, you were saying that Elena should have a, a home here in the Riverside Albert. I'll make sure that I keep a room in that home <laughs> because I want to make sure that I'm coming back. And uh, not only that, I had a chance to have a fantastic brunch yesterday with the former Premier, Frank McKenna, a good friend of mine, and we were chatting about the importance of, of this very monument and how it was great to see so many people coming together in making this happening. And I would like to thank him also for his important <laughs> And so when I look at Elena, at, at Frank, at Jim, these are positive forces. Because when you look at it, when you think about it, this is what politics is about. It's about making sure that you have better life for people you represent, stronger communities, a brighter future. And you need the right allies. And what I'm, one ally I know is Elena Lockhart. And Elena's work in making sure to bridge the Francophone and Anglophone community right here at home is one that needs to be noted. I know firsthand because she's been my parliamentary secretary on official languages and Hunkofani for the past year. And therefore, I wanted to really thank her for her work. And not only that, to tell her to continue to do just that. Because when we look at it, we need to make sure that we understand our past in order to know where we're, we want to head. So a good round of applause for Elena. Il y a certainement d'autres personnes aussi qui ont été vraiment clés au fait qu'on soit tous réunis aujourd'hui. Et ça, mais il y a notre cher Wilfred Savoie. Et aussi Paul, qui l'a aidé. Parce que vous savez, en 1755, oui, il y avait environ 75 familles, un peu plus de 400 personnes, des tibodos, des pitres. Est-ce qu'il y en a ici qui sont des comos? Oui! Des comos? Des tibodos? Oui! Des Savoie? Oui. Et justement, au départ, un projet qui devait être un monument pour soutenir les, la famille Savoie, commémorer sa présence ici, est devenu un plus grand projet parce que, au final, au travers des recherches de Wilfred, on a découvert qu'il y avait une bonne présence acadienne ici. Et tout ça s'inscrit dans un beau moment parce que non seulement on a célébré bien entendu le 15 août hier, mais aujourd'hui on célèbre ensemble le 16 août. Et donc, en ce 16 août, en ce contexte de congrès mondial acadien, je pense qu'on peut tous remercier du fond du cœur le travail des Frères Savoie pour commémorer la présence acadienne ici. Alors, tout le And these are the types of projects that we want to celebrate, that we want to be sure that we support. Because at the end of the day, these are the projects that bring us together. 
and that's what we need. That's what we need in New Brunswick. That's what we need in Canada. Donc, bon, bon congrès mondial acadien, bonne journée et félicitations à tous et à tous les, les bénévoles et les organisateurs. Merci encore. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Minister Lee. Thank you, Minister Jolie. I will now ask our MLA for the Albert Region, Honorable Mike Holland, to come on up. Bonjour et tous et tous. Bienvenue à la meilleure conscription de la province de Nouveau Brunswick. Mr. Lee, je content la meilleure conscription de la paix du Canada. C'est la meilleure. C'est mon grand plaisir de parler avec nous, vous, aujourd'hui. Mon français n'est pas bien, j'ai pratique et je suis très fier de parler avec mes amis acadiens ici aujourd'hui. Je suis... Mon enseignant de français, c'est Robert Gauvin, le ministre de Tourisme. Si je ne fais pas bien, c'est sa faute. So, je suis anglophone. Uh, you know, je suis, je suis mon héritage uh, irlandais. Uh, I'm Irish. Uh, mais je suis très fier de lever ici aujourd'hui uh, uh, à ce uh, 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 village pour un uh, aujourd'hui historique. Uh, C'est un um, uh, historique jour pour la, pour la histoire pour ce village et uh, la, la, la histoire de l'Acadienne ici. You know, uh, I grew up uh, in rural New Brunswick and Anglophone New Brunswick, and, and to see something like this is, uh, is absolutely, absolutely amazing. You know, you're going to hear me say something that a politician doesn't normally say. I can't take any credit for this. <laughs> this uh, <laughs> So this, this was an initiative that was launched before my entry into politics, and I always want to bring this back to the, to the people that deserve credit. And in particular, the working relationship that I have with the village here and, uh, and, and Jim Campbell, the mayor, I want everyone to take a moment and just recognize uh, the commitment that he's made to seeing this working in conjunction with Wilfred and many, many other people. But Jim has been the tip of the steer, spear on this initiative. I'm very proud of him, and I'm very proud to represent a riding that has municipalities that are that are as committed to a vision in the future as Riverside Albert, led by Jim Campbell. So I just want to take a moment. Yeah. You know that 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 vision is going to make history today. But it makes me very proud of the fact that I'm connected to municipalities that have a vision to make rural ridings like this an actual example for the rest of the province. So I'm very, very, very proud of that. Uh, it's, it's a phenomenal day to hear of all the different uh, branches of Acadian families coming here. I look forward to learning a lot more of that, refining my uh, francophone skills. But at this moment, I'd like to say thank you to Minister Jolie. This is the second time I've had a chance to, to meet her right here in this riding. I really appreciate uh, her comments. I've heard her speak. Uh, it comes from the heart and it, and it means a lot that we've caught the attention of uh, not just the local area but the entire country. So please join me as we as we thank uh, Minister Jolie for her continued support of our phenomenal region. the deep devotion of the Acadian families to their church. And so we have asked two religious leaders representing their ministries to provide us an opportunity to reflect on the spirituality of the event. Nous sommes tous au courant de la dévotion des Acadiens envers leur église. Nous avons invité deux représentants de leur ministère qui nous donnent la chance de réfléchir sur l'aspect spirituel de cet événement. Le Père Arthur Bourgeois, curé de la région de Dieppe, qui va bénir le monument, and Pastor Paul Steves, retired minister from the Shepherdy region, qui vous adressera la parole. So please come forward, uh, Altil Bourgeois and Pastor Paul Steves.
Prions ensemble. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Dieu très saint, créateur de tout ce qui vit, tout ce qui existe, toi le maître des temps et de l'histoire, ce matin nous te louons et nous te bénissons. Rassemblés en ce coin de terre où certains de nos ancêtres ont vécu, nous venons ce matin nous recueillir et nous rappeler. Séparés déjà de quelques siècles par des mouvements d'histoire, nous voulons reprendre contact avec nos racines. Que la présence de ce monument dans cette région rappelle à toutes les générations que des familles françaises ont foulé le sol de ce côté-ci de la rivière Petit Cognac. Influenced by our First Nation brothers and sisters, we respect Mother Earth that holds the remains of our forefathers in sacred trust. As we stand on these grounds, we pray that we may continue to uphold the values of work, of friendship, of family, and of faith inherited through the years from our ancestors. Dieu très saint, dans ta providence, nous te demandons de répandre ta bénédiction sur tous ceux et celles qui ont vu à la réalisation de ce monument et sur ceux et celles qui viendront dans l'avenir s'y recueillir. Ce monument veut souligner le passage des nôtres dans cette région de l'Acadie. Cette rencontre nous rappelle le texte de la Bible tiré de Ben Sirach le Sage, chapitre 44, taken from the book of Sirach, the Old Testament, chapter 44. Faisons l'éloge de ces personnages glorieux qui sont nos ancêtres. Leur œuvre de justice n'ont pas été oubliées. Leur descendance subsistera toujours. Jamais leur gloire ne sera effacée. Les nations raconteront leur sagesse. L'Assemblée proclamera leur louange comme nous le faisons ce matin. We pray that future generations may help to foster harmony respect and fellowship. As we learn from past mistakes, may we build a stronger country and may we be as Canadians an example to the world by being a mosaic of cultures living and working together. Et que la Vierge, Notre Dame de l'Assomption, notre patronne, continue de guider et de soutenir notre peuple. Et que le Seigneur vous bénisse, le Père, le Fils et le Saint-Esprit. Good morning and welcome to our area here down in Riverside, Albert, and it's a, a privilege and an honor to be here to, to celebrate such a great and important time, a day, of, of, a historic day really, of what's happening here in our area. You know, the thing that we can come together in the oneness of spirit to celebrate you know, the work that's being done here in this part of our land and in the past. And we know where we are and where we're going because of those who come before us. And as I pastored for 17 years at Hopewell Community Baptist Church in the Shepherdy area, we often looked out on them wonderful marshes and them beautiful dikes. And today we're reminded that we wouldn't have them if it wasn't for those faithful Acadian families came to live here at this time, at that time. But now let us uh, come before the Lord in prayer, and let us ask God's blessing upon this ceremony, this historic day, and all who are involved. Let us pray. Eternal and almighty God, we come before you today with thanksgiving and praise, asking for your spirit of love and forgiveness, of acceptance to be with us, And as we unveil this very important historical Chippity monument, we do so with thanksgiving. We ask, O oh Lord, your blessing upon this ceremony and all that it represents and all who are taking part in this historical day. We come asking that you will open our hearts and our minds to what this monument symbolizes. As we look back and are reminded of the important part the Acadian families played in developing our beautiful Shepherdy and surrounding areas, we also found acts of displacement and disunity. But today we thank you for the healing that time and forgiveness can bring. And may this monument symbolize today unity and community as we celebrate together our culture and our strength. 
may it symbolize a bright hope, a hope-filled future that will be with our people, our communities, and even our nation. May it benefit all in our nation to know that we can be a country that can benefit one another. And may we do all of this to the glory of God our Father. And we ask all of these things in the name of our Son, or God's Son and our Savior, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. d'ajouter un monument, un panneau d'information qui fournira aux visiteurs de l'information additionnelle concernant les familles acadiennes qui vivent ici. We also decided to add an information panel that would provide additional information to visitors about the Acadian families who lived here. Pour faire le dévoilement, nous avons demandé à une personne qui s'est beaucoup intéressée à nous supporter tout au long du projet. Il serait appuyé de Diane Comotibo de la baie Sainte-Marie en Nouvelle-Écosse et David Savoie. President de la Compagnie Acadia Construction. To do the unveiling, we have asked a person who has taken great interest in the project and given us full support throughout. He will be seconded by Diane Comotibo from the La Baie Sainte Marie and David Savoie, President Acadia Construction. Je demanderai maintenant uh, qui vont. Uh, that there will be work commencing immediately to erect a monument recognizing the efforts of the First Nations and Les Premières Nations, right where I'm standing. Je demanderai maintenant au député de Dieppe, Roger Melançon, de présenter notre invité spécial. I will now ask the Mr. Roger Melassa, MLA for Dieppe, to present our very special guest who did the unveiling. Um, Mr. Melassa is an ancien ministre des Finances and President du Conseil du Trésor, qui s'est intéressé activement à notre projet. I would now ask Mr. Roger Melassa, the MLA for Die the Dieppe riding, former Minister of Finance and the Treasury Board Chairman, who took great interest in our project. Thank you, Mr. Melassa. Bon matin à vous tous. Good morning, everyone. J'ai le privilège de présenter l'honorable Frank McKenna. Mais peut-être avant que je m'arrive à présenter Frank, that Frank just told me keep it short because he said he was short. I have to say something. I think there's a few elements that I want to mention, but I think it's quite impressive. C'est très impressionnant de voir ici ce matin le nombre de personnes qui est ici à Riverside d'Albert pour le dévoilement de ce beau monument. Un bon coup de main à vous tous d'être là ce matin. Et puis, lorsque Wilfred m'a demandé de participer, j'ai absolument dit oui, mais lorsqu'il m'a mentionné que le dévoilement serait le 16 août, I said to myself, that's high risk. Like, the 15th is the day before, and there's a big party on the 15th of August. And so for everyone to be here today and celebrate this after the day after the night before, it's quite impressive. Alors, bravo à vous autres, parce que j'ai vu la plupart de vous hier soir à Dieppe au spectacle et au tête à mort. Comme j'ai mentionné, j'avais quelques messages avant de présenter l'honorable Frank McKenna. 
C'est certain que vous êtes ici ce matin et plusieurs d'entre vous doivent vivre des moments nostalgiques. Comme mentionné par Wilfred, les familles qui ont arrivé ici et vécu ici pour 55 ans, pour vous, c'est de reconnaître vos ancêtres qui ont passé par ici et qui pourront revenir ici, vous-même et vos amis et votre famille, de se souvenir de ceux et celles de votre généalogie qui a vécu ici. Alors, je félicite le comité de Wilfred Savoie et tous ses bénévoles. Lorsque Wilfred a commencé à travailler sur ce projet-là avec son frère Paul et ses bénévoles, j'avouerai, j'ai dit à Wilfred, « Es-tu certain que tu veux t'embarquer là-dedans? » Et lorsqu'on parle de résilience d'Acadiens et d'Acadiennes, je pense qu'il faut reconnaître que Wilfred Savoie, c'est une personne avec énormément de résilience. Et je veux te féliciter, Wilfred, pour le travail exceptionnel avec ton comité. Bravo à toi. Il y a un élément, avant de présenter Frank, que je veux souligner. Vous savez, je veux féliciter le comité d'avoir élargi son mandat au-delà de dévoiler ce monument qui est splendide. C'est l'élément où est-ce qu'il y a eu un jumelage en deux écoles. Les jeunes ont participé à vouloir mieux se connaître entre une communauté anglophone de Riverside, Albert, et une communauté acadienne de Memramco. And when I was listening to the videos that was put on Facebook through YouTube, and I believe it was teacher Butler, her name is, from Riverside, Albert? Potter where she was teaching grade five. And there was all kinds of activities between the two schools of grade five here and grade four in Mirmanka. And the conclusion of all of that experience was the kids from here told their teacher, you know what? Those kids in Mirmanka, they're just like us. <laughs> they're just like us. Is it tellement, tellement révélateur que les jeunes disent toujours la vérité, mais non plus qu'il faut absolument, continuellement, faire un effort de se rapprocher des deux communautés linguistiques et des différentes communautés au Nouveau-Brunswick. Et ceci, ça m'apporte à présenter l'invité d'honneur, M. Frank McKenna. You know, Frank has done so many great things in New Brunswick, in Canada, around the world for that matter. And when I was 16 years old, Frank became the leader of the Liberal Party. That inspired me to get involved in the political movement. But Frank, for all of his achievements, and I'll mention a few, obviously premier of our province for 10 years, ambassador to the United States, the Canadian ambassador to the United States, deputy chair of TD Bank, member of the Canadian Lord du Canada. But one small thing that Frank had done, and I'll never forget it, and it brings me to the example of the students from Riverside, Albert, et les gens de l'école Abelandé de Memranco. Frank, lorsqu'il était premier ministre, a créé une agence, une entité qui s'appelle Dialogue Nouveau-Brunswick. Puis un élément du mandat de Dialogue Nouveau-Brunswick, c'était exactement ce que l'école de Riverside, Albert et de l'école Abbé Landry a réussi à faire, c'était du jumelage entre les différentes communautés linguistiques au Nouveau-Brunswick. So I want to recognize that small but so much important thing that Frank did for our province so the different cultures of our province can get to know each other. C'est tellement important de mieux se connaître et de mieux se comprendre et comment mieux de le faire lorsqu'on a un dialogue entre nous. Là-dessus, là-dessus... Lorsque je dis que M. McKenna a été ambassadeur du Canada aux États-Unis, je pense qu'il faut le reconnaître. M. McKenna sera toujours l'ambassadeur du Nouveau-Brunswick et ceci à l'échelle internationale. Bravo. Merci, Frank, d'être notre ambassadeur du Nouveau-Brunswick et merci d'être là aujourd'hui. La parole est à vous.
Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, welcome everybody. And uh, thank you, Roger, for a, a, just a, a wonderful introduction. Je vous souhaite une bienvenue chaleureuse à tous nos invités distingués. And I'm particularly uh, excited to share a stage with, uh, uh, with our minister, the Honorable Melanie Jolie. Uh, I had the great honor uh, to work uh, with her throughout the last year in creating a national tourism strategy. And I, um, I was blown away by her leadership skills and her uh, consensus building skills. And uh, so I salute one of Canada's great leaders, Melanie Jolie, and thank you for being here. She's also in huge demand all across the country, but for some reason, she's decided to make uh, uh, Thunder Oil her second home. Um, <laughs> She's kind of like the tides in the Bay of Fundy. She comes, she goes. She comes, <laughs> she goes, she goes. And we hope you just keep coming back. Uh, now, as for Alana Lockhart, I'm convinced that she's from a family of triplets. <laughs> because nobody could be in as many places as she could be in a single day. <laughs> I have no idea what uh, uh, political fortunes bring. Uh, we're all slave to the, uh, to the electorate. Uh, I can't predict that. But I can tell you that your support for a project that I'm passionate about, um, and that's the Funday Trail, which I think is going to transform this entire region of New Brunswick. Your support is putting that project over the top. Uh, I am so happy. Uh, with what you've done, and uh, when that trail is open, you have got to be the person cutting the ribbon for everything you've done. Thank you. Je vous félicite particulièrement, Wilfred Savoy, et son comité, et le maire Jim Campbell, et son conseil municipal, for the vision, the leadership, to create de cet monument important. I mean, this is a symbolic event that we're at today. It's a symbol, on the one hand, of perseverance, and on the other hand, of reconciliation. Two extraordinarily important people. And I confess, uh, Ray Frenette introduced the project to me through Wilfred and uh, Armand is here today. Uh, and until that time, I had no idea about this treasure in our midst. In our midst. I thought the only reason Riverside Albert was important because my two sisters lived here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the settlement started small in 1700. It's a long time ago. 14 families, 55 people, 12 goats, 70 cows, and 50 sheep. <laughs> By 1755, the settlement had grown to 425 individuals. It was actually bigger then than it is now. <laughs> <laughs> and they had more goats. <laughs> But I've been fascinated with the history of this community because of the microcosm that it represents for a relationship between First Nations and between our two linguistic communities in New Brunswick and across Canada. And it's in the way that our relationship has grown and evolved and the way that we have achieved a country based on consensus and reconciliation rather than conflict, that we represent a model for the entire world. C'est propice d'avoir cette ouverture de rang le Congrès mondial, parce que l'histoire de Chippadie est vraiment l'histoire de l'Acadie. This modest settlement was the beginning of many of New Brunswick's most prominent Acadian families, including Thibodeau's, Savoie's, Como's, Godet's, Martin, Bro, Blanchard, and many others. In fact, our current Canadian Prime Minister had his roots right here in this village, in this Acadian community. And I have a message. There's so many Acadians here today. J'ai un message spécial pour les Acadiens qui sont présents aujourd'hui. Vous êtes les gardiens du pays de Vangeline. We went through an extraordinarily wrenching experience in our history. Between 1755 and 1764, more than 6,000 Acadian houses were destroyed. Acadians uh, were dispersed throughout all of North America, from Georgia to Texas, 
New Orleans and across the region. Uh, many families were cruelly separated and many were killed. May plusieurs autres se sont enfouis dans la forêt et ont créé une bastion de résistance qui a préservé la langue et la culture jusqu'au aujourd'hui. L'histoire des Acadiens en est une de survie et de persévérance, de résilience, de fierté et de force de caractère, de mort et de loyauté, de courage et de détermination. And as a result of this history forged in fire, Acadians are now like the barnacles on the rocks of our storm tossed coastline. Yeah. They are here for good. Je vis dans un village acadien, Capelé, et je suis le fier grand-père d'Audrey et Sophie, mes petites filles acadiennes. J'ai toujours été frappé par la fierté et la détermination de ma communauté et des autres communautés acadiennes de la région. Les Acadiens sont fiers de leur, leur drapeau, fiers de leur culture et fiers de leur pays. Et leur pays est le Canada. Mes chers confrères et consoeurs, dans un monde rempli de conflits, il n'y a pas de meilleur endroit who se through vacancy, ma'am, O Canada. Nous vivons dans un pays de grand potentiel. We live in a country that has never really known war in its soil, scourge of famine, the terrible pain of earthquakes and tsunamis, and other natural disasters. Nous vivons dans un pays où nous avons réussi à concilier l'économie de marché et la discipline budgétaire avec des programmes sociaux progressistes. Nous vivons dans un pays où nous croyons vraiment que nous sommes les gardiens de nos frères. We live in a country where we believe we're our brother's keepers. Nous vivons dans un pays qui croit que le gouvernement, gouvernement n'est pas mauvais uh, et qu'il peut apporter des améliorations de notre vie. We believe, in a, we believe in a legitimate role for government to make our life better. Nous vivons dans un pays qui est prêt à chercher un équilibre entre les droits collectifs et les droits individuels. Nous vivons dans un pays qui a se trouvé un certain niveau d'accommodation, pas toujours parfait, mais qui a toujours été tenté entre les deux communautés linguistiques fondatrices et les premières nations. We live in a country that has always accepted different languages, cultures, costumes, and beliefs. We live in a country of immigrants, immigrants and immigration where we embrace newcomers to our breast and welcome them to our home. We live in a world of conflict and in, in that world of conflict, this country still represents an oasis of peace and tranquility, a role model of how people can get along of various, uh, of various ethnicities and various languages. Like other Canadians, I was transfixed with the drama that unfolded on Parliament Hill several years ago that resulted in the death of a Canadian soldier. Emotions were at a fever pitch, and it was not surprising that strong feelings were being expressed. However, in our Canada, our innate sense of decency prevailed. When a mosque in Cold Lake, Alberta was defaced with the words, go home, it was quickly covered over with a new marking which read, you are home. Je vous implore de, va de vivre votre vie avec compassion, avec joie, espoir et optimism to continue dans la même façon dans ce pays. I'd implore your life to, uh, would implore all of us to live our life with charity and compassion and tolerance and respect for other views, and joy, and hope, and optimism. We've been granted a very precious, a very precious gift, a good life in a good country, in a world that is a role model for the rest of humanity. Vive l'Acadie et vive le Canada. <laughs>
one that perhaps has as much significance is, uh, than the unveiling of the monument is the raising of the Acadian flag and singing of our national anthem. La dernière partie de nos cérémonies peut être pleine de significance que le dévoilement du monument. Il s'agit du lever du drapeau acadien, le chant de lave Maristella. To do the honors, we have invited Jean Godet, le président, uh, the president of the Federation of the Association of Acadian Families, et de Palson Yashner, descendant of the Thibodeau family, and Gail Brosmith, descendant of the Bro family, all the way from Louisiana. <laughs> Nous avons invité M. Jean Godet, le président de la Fédération des associations des familles acadiennes, qui sera aidé de Mme Sonia Schneer, descendante directe de la famille Thibodeau, ainsi que Gail Bro Smith, qui représente la famille Bro, qui vient de la Louisiane. The singing of our national anthem will be performed by Caroline Savoy, a descendant of the Savoy family and an Acadian songwriter and singing star, a direct descendant of the Savoy family from Shepardy. Le chant de l'Ave Maristella sera chanté par Caroline Savoie, une auteure, compositeur et interprète vedette acadienne et descendante directe de la famille Savoie de Chipoli. I present to you, je vous présente, Monsieur Jean Godet, who will say a few words prior to the raising of the flags, qui nous dira quelques mots avant le lever du drapeau. Monsieur Jean Godet. Madame la maîtresse de cérémonie, Madame Annick, Monsieur Wilfred Savoie, vous m'en voulez beaucoup de me faire parler après Monsieur Frank McKenna. <rires> Mais j'ai mon texte. Monsieur le maire Campbell. Dignitaires et amis dans la foule. C'est un honneur et un privilège pour la Fédération des associations de familles acadiennes que vous avez invité son président, aussi président de la famille Godette, dont le nom est inscrit sur le monument, de participer à ce dévoilement audacieux dans les terres ancestrales. Jean l'Ancien, whose costume represents the dress of the first Acadian occupants and developers of this area, is both honored and privileged to be part of this unveiling and flag raising ceremony. As president of the Fédération des Associations de Familles Acadiennes, representing all Acadian families, I want to thank Wilfred Savoie chair of the organizing committee for his vision to honor his ancestors and their first partners in this vast area and for his skill at getting the necessary elements to work together. Merci Wilfred et tous les membres de votre comité de réalisation. To Mayor Campbell, members of your council, and to all your citizens, thank you for recognizing the historical reality of Acadian presence and developmental ingenuity to make the area prosper before the deportation. Thank you for keeping it productive. We recognize the political will and conviction needed to make this monument stand in your community. We trust you will be the good, will you will take care, take good care of it for the generations to come. Il faut reconnaître le courage personnel et politique du maire Campbell et de ses citoyens que cela a pris pour la que la cérémonie d'aujourd'hui ait lieu. Je vous demande de leur donner une bonne main d'applaudissement.
voudrais signaler la présence des Acadiens et francophones, membres des familles présents pour la cérémonie. Je vous demande de lever votre main et ensuite je vais vous demander de crier merci aux réalisateurs de cet événement. Alors s'il vous plaît, les membres des familles acadiennes, les francophones, levez votre main. Merci! Merci! Pierre m'a battu. Ah. Je voulais dire à trois, tout le monde va dire un gros merci. Alors, un, deux, trois. Merci! To all present. Keep up the good work to honor the land we are entrusted with. Merci de votre présence, un témoignage qui est beaucoup plus fort que les discours. Le Congrès mondial acadien n'est pas terminé. On va se revoir. Thank you, Mayor Campbell, and to all your community. À bientôt. Alors, on procède à la levée du drapeau. Dei Maria 
marks the end of this ceremony. It is not the end. So again, I wish to thank our special guests, the participants, for, and everybody for your presence today. Ceci continue la fin de cette cérémonie, mais nous n'avons pas fini. Je désire encore une fois de remercier tout le monde qui est venu aujourd'hui. Vous êtes tous invités au Exhibition Grounds. Uh, nous avons la musique qui continue avec Samantha Robichaud, Fun Day Kaylee, puis Emily Duncan. On a uh, du frico. On a uh, toutes des histoires puis des réunions pour les différentes familles acadiennes. Ça fait plusieurs choses qui se passent. Juste continuer en bas du chemin puis tourner à gauche. C'est au 